Welcome back to our full course on Apache Hoodie for beginners. In part four of our video series, we are diving deep into the world of indexing in Apache Hoodie. We will explore essential index types such as global and non-global index. Then we're going to explore various index type that Hoodie has to offer. We'll also help you to understand which index to use for which specific use case. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss any update. As usual, all the course material and resources could be found in the video description below. So let's start by understanding the difference between a global index and a non-global index. Global index. This index strategy enforces uniqueness of keys across all the partition of table. Example, it guarantees exactly one record exists in the table for a given record key. Global index offers stronger guarantees, but update slash delete costs will grow with the size of the table. Now let's take a look at a non-global index. Non-global index, on the other hand, the default index implementation enforces the constraint only within a specific partition. As one might imagine, Non-global index depends upon the writer to provide the same consistent partition path for a given record key during the update slash deletes, but can deliver a much better performance since the index lookup operation becomes O oh, number of records uh, for updates and deletes and scales well with the right volume. So in simple words, I would say, if you need uniqueness across entire partition or throughout the table, make sure you use a global index. But remember when using global index, uh, the update slash delete cost will grow with the size of table. When you sing non-global index, uh, as you can see, uh, the update slash delete cost will be O number of records, remember, and non-global index scales really well with the right volume. Now that we understand uh, global and non-global index, now let's explore various index types Apache Hoodie offers following index types out of the box, which is Bloom Index, Simple Index, HBase Index, Bucket Index, and Bucket Index with consistent hashing. Let's talk about the Bloom Index. This is an indexing strategy to manage upserts and record lookups in a file group efficiently. This index leverages Bloom Filter, which is a probabilistic data structure that helps in determining if a given record key exists in a specific file group or not. This is available in both global and non-global index. Now let's talk about simple index. This is an indexing strategy that provides a straightforward approach to map the record keys to their corresponding file groups. It performs a lean join of incoming updates slash deletes of records against the keys extracted from the table on storage. This is available in both global and non-global cat category. Next we have is an HBase index. This index strategy uses HBase to store the index to map the record and the corresponding file location in the file group. This is available only in the global category. Let's talk about the bucket index. This is an indexing strategy that uses hashing to route the records to statistically allocated file group. This is available in a non-global category. I do want to mention that bucket index does not involve index lookup. That is why upsorts and deletes would be much faster. Let's talk about bucket index with consistent hashing. This is an indexing strategy that is an advanced version of bucket index. While the bucket index needs pre-allocation of file groups per partition, with consistent hashing index, we can dynamically grow or shrink the file groups per partition based on the load. This is available for non-global category. Now let's explore the use case, which index to use and when, right? So let's understand that in a much better way. Now when to use a simple index, right? This is a good index strategy for update heavy workloads if you are sporadically updating um, files across the entire span of the table and the records keys are random, consider using a, a simple index. Let me give you a nice example. Let's say you have a dimension table. Let's say you have a trip ID, uh, which is probably a GUID and you have partitioned the data by city. Let's say you want to update a million trips, which uh, span across multiple series. Then in those scenarios, consider using uh, a simple index, right? Let's talk about the bucket index, right? When would I use a bucket index? 
This is a good uh, strategy if the total amount of data stored per partition is similar across all the partition. The number of buckets, uh, you know, needs to be defined up front. Now, let me talk why the bucket index will give you a faster upsort slash deletes. The reason being is it omits the index lookup part, right? Hoodie uses a hash function to identify the incoming records and through the hash function, it knows basically which bucket it is and at which file group it has to go, right? That is the reason it is a much more faster, right? So in scenarios where, uh, you know, you need a faster upsorts, I would probably um, uh, advise probably to consider using bucket index. But remember, the number of buckets have to be defined upfront. Um, to overcome this scenario, um, you know, uh, since you have to define the number of buckets, you can opt in for um, a new index type, which is bucket index with consistent hashing. But to, to dive deeper into the bucket index, I advise uh, to read a blog post by Mr. Siva Balanarayan, who has written an amazing blog post on simple bucket index. Uh, the links are in the description. Last, let's talk about the Bloom Index. Bloom Index is the default option in Apache Hoodie. Um, so this is a good index strategy for update heavy workloads. If the record uh, keys are ordered by some criteria, example, a timestamp base, etc., and updates are, are, are related to the recent set of data. For example, if the record keys are ordered based on the timestamp and we are updating data within, let's say, last few days or few weeks or few months, consider using Bloom Index. I hope your concepts are now clear about indexes in Apache Hoodie, global and non-global index, index types in Hoodie, which are simple index, bloom index, bucket index, HBase index, etc. Now, if you have any further question on these index type, uh, I recommend uh, you leaving your question in the comment section. And I'm gonna be leaving some blog posts for you as resources, which you can read further. One of the blog posts is by One House over here. And the next blog post will be by Siva Balanaran on Simple Index, which can be found over here. So thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have any further questions, list your question in the comments and I'll be uh, happy to answer them. And until then, I'll see you in the next part.